Hello everybody and thank you uh, for coming, uh, for watching our platform uh, Africa today here with the Sunday guests. Uh, today I have uh, an honor to uh, uh, invite uh, Mr. Massa. Troy yes. Massa, how are you doing? Sir, Good, today? how are you doing today? I'm doing all right. Good, Mr. Thank you for coming today. Um, uh, Massa, tell me about you. You're a creati creative developer, an international advocate, right? Yes, yes. So tell us about you. Well, my background is actually in international public health sciences, mm -hmm. and I also have another background as a celebrity creative director. Right. So that's where I merge in the, the visuals and cultures of Africa mm -hmm. into things like fashion, arts, and music. Mm -hmm. So I'm known both in the science field, and uh, the science and health field, and also in the creative field. Okay. Creative arts field. What what what's behind that? So the fact that you you came from the field health mm -hmm. field and then go directly to the culture and <laughs> working with the African diaspora, uh, what's behind that? Well, I think behind that, I mean, first and foremost, it's God. I mean, I was raised in a way that you don't only have one skill, right? So you should try everything mm -hmm. and see what's the best that works out for you and for me it happened to be more than one mm -hmm. I, I always liked health and I always liked um, creativity mm -hmm. and I've never just thrown them away I've always used them both so that's the best way I merge it. Uh, having from uh, having a uh, kind of background mm -hmm. of African culture mm -hmm. so uh, is that help a lot? Yes I mean I think I put African culture in almost anything I do mm -hmm. even in the science realm when we do organizational work like program development or just anything mm -hmm. um, teaching and stuff I make sure I use it like it's called cultural sensitivity so right. if I'm working with a certain population maybe only a Muslim population or mm -hmm. maybe only a Latino population I have to know how to balance those cultures because it's not the same right so right so tell me about yeah you know, I know this involves a lot of uh, interaction between uh, the African diaspora and African mm -hmm. communities and all that so uh, do you have some kind of point of contact that uh, for the first time like uh, introduce you to the community or just it was the first time you met people and then go to them talk to them about what you're doing and let them involve themselves i think it's over time i've always been in the community in some way mm -hmm. assisting or giving critique even I think it just starts through school. You just put yourself into right. different activities. Have a lot of yeah, friends. have a lot of. Well, I mean, it doesn't mean you have a lot of friends. I right. may not have a lot of friends right. compared to you. You may have more friends than right. me. But um, it's just making sure that people know that you're here and mm -hmm. you have something to offer. Yeah. yeah. So uh, how do you get involved? How do you get in? It's easy. It's they, did they come to you? Did they just like, open up the African community? African? The African community, yes. you know, it's a. Um, a very it's a complex community so <laughs> for the african community you have to prove yourself right so i it's not so much of them just coming to you you have to prove what you're good for which is good that means they have to validate you and make sure that you're true to what you say so i think that's where it comes from when they see that you're doing something repetitively mm -hmm. and you're true to what you're saying mm -hmm. i think that's when the african community starts to come to you so i think that's I hope that answers your question. Oh, all right. Uh, so, uh, what right now? What you're doing? Uh, there is uh, some activities going on. Mm -hmm. I I know that you you host like a, a, a um, an activity like uh, oh, recently. Yeah. And it was yes. a, a successful activity. Yes. You know? I, so, did you guys like it? We, we like it. Okay, I, I do like it. Uh, believe me, man. I was there. I was like, you know, I was impressed, and I love <laughs> people that was doing it. You know, Good, and, and perfect. As a matter of fact, I I got a chance to to meet you. That uh, makes yes, me very. Yeah. And, you know, awesome. very happy and very satisfied to see you. That uh, you know, yeah, uh, Africa and, today was great. Yeah. I really, uh, we really appreciate you as an organization coming mm -hmm. as press, as a press partner mm -hmm. to the organization. So thank you again. Man, we thank you. Me. That's what we. That's what we do. It's just about Africa. You know, yeah. it's about uh, loving who you are, knowing where you're going, yeah. and then be proud about what you are. You know, yes. who you yeah. are. You know, and what you stand for. You know. So, uh, and again, thank you for what you're doing. Uh, tell me about that, uh, that event. Okay. How you, uh, everything is started. Yeah, okay, great. Uh, we started, so the organization has been running for a while now, but, you know, when you get your tax exempt and things, so mm -hmm. officially we've started, I believe it was 2014, 2015. Mm -hmm. And um, that was the, during the onset of the Ebola outbreak. Yeah. So we focused our efforts on... Um, 
finding medical equipment, mm -hmm. surgical equipment and supplies mm -hmm. to help the basic needs all the way up to more like surgical needs in right. the community. So we focused on Sierra Leone, where mm -hmm. I am from. Um, it wasn't that that was the only place that was affected, but you have to start with where you know mm -hmm. first before you go and distribute and start programs. So we distributed um, a 40 foot container worth of medical supplies to the rural villages mm -hmm. in the province of Cambia and then some other places. So that we created a medical stockpile. Mm -hmm. So that means a place like if you go in the hospital, they have medication, right. they have uh, surgical equipment in one room right. or many rooms. Mm -hmm. That's their stockpile. So anytime an emergency or anytime you need the equipment is there mm -hmm. and they're still using it today. So from 2015 to now, they're still using that to give birth, you know, birthing, mm -hmm. uh, wound care, iodine kits, they're still using those things. And okay. that's where um, the gala that you mm -hmm. came to, Africa Gives Back International, our gala, that's what we do. We make sure that things can run on its own or things can be there like a legacy so that we can move on. And if we need to revisit it, go back there. But if not, go to the next project and okay. make sure that we're helping okay. the community. So in terms of the container, you know, yeah. you know uh, it was in Sierra Leone, right? Yeah, that one was And you from Sierra Leone? Yes, right? yes. And um, you guys were in the field with the container? People, or yes. No, 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 no. So we do have people in the field. Even okay. one of our board members, the vice president, um, Mr. Usman Jallo, mm -hmm. he is there physically. He will be there physically or okay. we will be there physically. Even in the future, we will be there okay. even physically. So we have people on the ground and we have people even from here mm -hmm. who are actually boards in the um, organization who go with it. Mm -hmm. So we don't just distribute without having a contact here mm -hmm. or like we'll talk later, a collaborative um, organization mm -hmm. making sure we verify everything mm -hmm. because if you, you know, if you ship things back home, just leave it. You don't know where it's going to go. Yeah. You have to be there. Yeah, that's happened, yeah. unfortunately. Yes. So uh, what you guys do basically is a kind of a, a give back to your community. You know, yes. And then support people back home and try to influence on, on, the, on, the, on the leadership. Exactly. You know, of the new, new, uh, of, of the future. Exactly. Leaders, you know. Exactly. So, okay. And... Um, in, in terms of the, because I'm trying to focus to see, uh, talk about the culture and, and the health. We're, we're going to come back to the health. It's okay. related. But um, again, uh, the African community is very, very wide. Mm -hmm. And you, you say it, you know, it's complex, you know. Yes. So uh, did you get in touch with the presidents of the uh, that, uh, different organization? Or? Um, I think... You're saying when we collaborate with them? Yeah, and the reason why I yeah, ask that, yeah. I know you, you guys went from a small mm -hmm. kind of uh, organization. Yes, everybody. And then now it. it's kind of a big, you know, five for one. Yeah, yeah, right? exactly. That's, that's exactly. a big step, right? Exactly. So that's why I'm asking, you know. Okay. Yeah. So the way we collaborate, sometimes people reach out mm -hmm. because we make sure that we are in the community and people know just however like uh, Troy is the president or whomever is a, a part of this board this is where we can help sometimes they see that and they contact us or we find the need and mm -hmm. we try to contact somebody on their board mm -hmm. usually it is the president or founder right. but sometimes you can't always get to them mm -hmm. and once they hear from their members they are the ones who contact us back so it's it's like a um, it's a continuum so right. when they see it, they'll contact us, or when we see that they need, a, they have a need, we'll contact them. Absolutely. So I think that's the way it should work. Okay. So. And as as a, as a prisoner. Yes. And a founder, right? Yes. So uh, tell us the the importance mm -hmm. of just like management mm -hmm. and uh, like good governing, mm -hmm. you know, good governance. Yes. And uh, transparency. Yes. You know, financial, you know, uh, balance and all yes. that. Yes. Yes. Tell us a little bit about it. So I think um, transparency is very important. The people who are involved in your organization doesn't mean just your members or mm -hmm. board members. Mm -hmm. The people who are not even the people who are donating, mm -hmm. everybody should be able to see your organization for what it is. If they call the office or if they call or meet you, they should, everybody should have the same uniform answer. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be this way and then it's a different completely opposite way when they speak to another person everybody should be on the same page. the same page right. the mission statement the goals should be visible 
on your website very and clear. anywhere very clear mm -hmm. so people can understand and it, I believe that you can have more than one right. so we have more than one as you can see you know that we hit different things education development right. as well as um, uh, health okay. so it's not only one thing but I think transparency is very important mm -hmm. and that's what we go on right yeah. uh, so uh, and then uh, I, I know transparency. we talk about transparency good governance I know this is a big a big problem a big yes. issue yeah. among like the African organization association mm -hmm. and even beyond that mm -hmm. but we are gonna talk about more about the mission about the mission statement and our, our, our the, the governance right after this uh, 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 this book right when we come back thank you
Welcome back. Uh, stay uh, still with um, uh, Troy. And again, I know we were talking about um, the good governance, the importance of uh, transparency, and you elaborate on that. So, um, uh, if you have today mm -hmm. a uh, message to give to um, our brothers and sisters mm -hmm. who are leading or who are like, um, uh, I mean, uh, the president or founder or any kind of institution, what you have to tell them as a wise advice mm -hmm. in terms of uh, for them to reach out their goal in yes. terms of successful and all that. I think um, for everybody, mm -hmm. we're all leaders, so we need to carry ourselves as that. Uh, make sure that consistency is there, but it's okay for change. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you're open-minded and you're not hard-headed. Yeah. So I think that's something. And to make sure that if you are doing an organization that represents a country or continent or people, mm -hmm. you really hold that like a crown because it's very important mm -hmm. you want to make sure everybody is involved and mm -hmm. if it's if it is one country that still doesn't mean that you don't contact your neighboring countries uh, you I have think. to uh, unify in mm -hmm. some way mm -hmm. because you don't know like what we call it in our culture we call it bateau so right. bateau means like to help another person, another person. even if you're not benefiting right. you don't know where that can benefit you in right. the future so absolutely yeah. all right and um uh, uh, can you remind us a little bit your mission statement and uh, and your vision oh, okay. uh, and, and your goal because overall you have a goal. You, yes, you're doing this to reach some things. Yes, you know? so can, yes. can we know what it is? Yeah, the mission statement for Africa Gives Back International is um, breaking the idea of Africa or people of color always being seen as asking and never giving. Mm -hmm. And you know, in our culture, we give a lot. Mm -hmm. It was just not publicized. Mm -hmm. So we're breaking that idea of the general public or society seeing us mm -hmm. as never giving. Um, our mission as well, our goal is to, uh, is to end the global water crisis and mm -hmm. as well to create a better Africa. Mm -hmm. So we don't only focus on building of water wells, which we're starting now. We also focus on health development and also education. Mm -hmm. So that's where we've, we've, helped several countries, probably over um, six countries and counting, with over a distribution of over 8,000 books to mm -hmm. get the library started. Mm -hmm. That includes even Jamaica, um, Zambia and East Africa, Cameroon, um, Ghana, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, and we're looking for even more. Right. Um, as of the first year, you already know, we did the medical mission, mm -hmm. the medical supplies, and mm -hmm. we're just moving forward from there. And what's the next step? The next step right now is the water well. So we're trying, okay. we are um, moving towards the building of water wells to bring clean and safe drinking water to mm -hmm. these villages in need. Mm -hmm. We're starting first in Sierra Leone and going up and down the coast in West Africa. Okay. So you guys know back home how the water is. You mm -hmm. do have the city, right. but once you go into the rural areas, it gets worse. Mm -hmm. And the young girls and young people have to walk si at least six miles twice a day mm -hmm. so that's about at least 12 miles a day right. just to get water which is dirty right. so and you know that's the onset of disease and and, 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 yeah. and it's all our duty yeah to make sure that back home people are safe yes people have their needs yes. and all that so yes. nobody would come somewhere from somewhere else to do it for exactly for us exactly so that's mean we have to give back like you say give yeah. back africa yeah so we have to to make sure we help Mm -hmm. Make sure we, 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 we contribute, you know, to the African development and all yes, that. And yes. I, I really appreciate what you thank guys you, are thank doing, you. you know. Thank so, and, um, it's a group uh, effort. Yeah, and we, we make sure that everybody, the diaspora and everybody mm -hmm. involved and, uh, and all that. And uh, what's your vision about, when we talk about Pan-Africanism, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know, people talk about Africa, Africa, Africa. Mm -hmm. But sometimes the talk is different. Uh, from the action yeah so that's where we hear a lot of people saying like talk is cheap right yeah, yeah. so uh, what's the difference why people are talking too much about the love they carry for Africa mm -hmm. and not enough action to mm -hmm. lift Africa um, I think people have a lot of great ideas about Africa and mm -hmm. where Africa can be mm -hmm. 
and the development of Africa. Mm -hmm. The thing is, I think a lot of people don't know how to take the next steps, mm -hmm. or maybe they're afraid to take the next steps. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what we need to break down and just try. Because mm -hmm. that's how every other first world nation tried. They tried something, or even if we don't want to use them as examples, mm -hmm. if you don't try to do something, how you know it's going to work in the first right. place? Right. So uh, I think that's what it is. People are afraid mm -hmm. to take the next steps, or they don't know what to do. And the way to break that down is to try. Yeah. yeah. It, it, that, that holds them from trying. Exactly. You know, you can even see it on the system, educational system in Africa, mm -hmm. where if you talk too much, it's not good. You yes. Know? So yes. people, uh, they, I mean, they ask you to just, uh, you talk less. Yes. You know, don't involve, you know, mm -hmm. involve that, that much, you know. So we're here, mm -hmm. they ask you to pose, uh, to ask a question. Yeah. To involve yourself and all that. I think it's, kind of a difference between how uh, how uh, we were raised mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. and the location and even the context yes you know? yes so uh, did you guys do a platform where you talk all about these issues like when it comes to social issues and all that I know you guys do art cultural mm -hmm. and uh, health and mm -hmm. all that what about the social because the social is kind of the the, the it's important the core foundation of like the spreading activities in health and mm -hmm. culture mm -hmm. um, Social is culture. Right. So we are more than welcome to sit on any panel, mm -hmm. to have any of my board or our, myself to sit on a panel and discuss these issues. I mean, social, you have to know what the people are. Yeah, like it goes back to cultural sensitivity. Mm -hmm. You have to know how to break down barriers and how to progress in this world. So mm -hmm. we're more than open to sit down with anyone any panel, any seminar, and discuss these issues. Yeah. The reason why I brought it up is just because uh, we have our sisters and mm -hmm. brothers who, who were born here. Yes. You know, they embrace the culture, American culture. Yes. While having an heritage of Africa, Africa. so they want mm -hmm. Senegal and all yes. that. Yes, yes. So it's sometimes they are like in between two different cultures. And where sometimes here they can, they can be seen as a foreigner. Mm -hmm. And back home, they can be seen as, as a foreigner, foreigner too. Yes, because you know you from America. Yes, and here they say he's an immigrant. You know, mm -hmm. so how can we can we help mm -hmm. people like you say just you know break the barriers and mm -hmm. be proud of what they are and try to you know embrace the mm -hmm. African roots. Yes, but still you know maintain kind of, there. Yeah. In, I think it goes into fear again. Just go and do it. If you want to, um, you're trying to, you're saying, how do you balance the two right. characters, uh -huh. the and two personalities? how we can help since yes. we are there talking, doing a lot, mm -hmm. you know. But uh, for me, the, the, the most important thing is just to, to like, uh, mm -hmm. involve people. Yes. Some of them want to wanna be in, wanna involved, but mm -hmm. the problem is just, they kind of lost in between uh, two different cultures, mm -hmm. and that can hold them back again. Mm. It's take back, it take us back to that, you know. So, do you think learning more of your other culture helps? Okay. I would say that opening mm -hmm. your culture, be a global citizen, know mm -hmm. more about both sides. Right. If you've grown up in America, mm -hmm. try to know more about your other side, right? And then try to go there, right. and then vice versa, right? Vice versa, so that w that way, when you go into that community. Mm -hmm. Or when you go into that event or you go into that exactly country mm -hmm. you're not too surprised right. of course you get a culture shock right. but mm -hmm. you're not too surprised you mm -hmm. say oh, okay I see this with my family in America they do the same thing at these events mm -hmm. so it's not it's not that much of a difference I think you have to immerse yourself mm -hmm. in more than one culture nowadays mm -hmm. even if you're only one if right. you're only American or right. if you're only Senegalese you have to at least know um, more than one culture See, because you the, have to, uh, the, the world is a the world is growing village, right? yeah yeah that's 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 very 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 important so um uh, again uh, when we talk about the transition mm -hmm. because we know africa is the youngest continent yes. in the world and um, africa has a lot of resources mm -hmm. natural resources mm -hmm. so but still we've seen we've seen people staying like in power mm -hmm. for several years mm -hmm. And the association has happened to you hold on on the on the crown mm -hmm. and you don't want to leave mm -hmm. so uh, as a young leader mm -hmm. 
how do you guys manage uh, or wanna tackle that and make it a, a rotative mm -hmm. leadership where you you have your terms and then pass it on to a young mm -hmm. a young man with a new vision different vision yeah. and then uh, keep the the lights on mm -hmm. until the uh, the end so uh, is there a specific program or activities that tackle that well we don't um focus you know we are a non-government Mm -hmm. an organization mm -hmm. and we don't focus on government particularly we're independent from mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. we would love to work with the government but you have to take a step but, but and work on your own the organization is a type of governing too right yeah we mm -hmm. have governing every every business every right. organization has right. to have a governing system and i hope you don't gonna stay there for 10 years right? oh. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're passing on anything mm -hmm. The thing that you need to pass on is wisdom and knowledge. Right. So I think that's what we do and other people around us do as well. So that way we, we, we teach people, mm -hmm. this is what we're doing. What ideas do you have? We're very open-minded as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. That goes really well because we have a large board. There's people even on the board who has nothing to do with science. They're on the arts and business side. Wow. There's people who's dealing with science. There's even people who have nothing to do with science or mm -hmm. health that are on this. So we're very open-minded. I think the key is, like you're saying, mm -hmm. is how do you stay in power that long? Or how do you, you're trying to reflect it on the government right. systems. Mm -hmm. You need to be open-minded. Right. I think that's the biggest thing. To be a leader, you have to be open-minded and you have to be ready for change. Um, I'm not speaking on any presidents. Change. Yeah. Change. Change. But, <laughs> but with um, the government system, like I said, we don't speak on that. Um, if, if the people believe there's a problem, mm. it's the people who can create a change within themselves and their communities. So it's not, you can't blame somebody else Absolutely. for change. You Absolutely. can blame yourself, not anybody else. Absolutely. And the, it, that's the way it should work everywhere. If the people, the, 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 the people are the power. Mm -hmm. If some, some things is not working at Fix all. Fix it yourself. Just like take step. You know, follow the rules and regulations mm -hmm. and try to change things, right? Yeah. That's where it's happened. Mm -hmm. Sunday guests here with Africa Today, mm -hmm. every Sunday. Talk to our people, our viewers. They love to listen to you. Oh. So they want to <laughs> know what you have to tell them and what's the next next activity. Of uh, course. How they can join you, where uh, they can of uh, course. have you give of your course. call and of all course. that. So you can find us at africagbi.org. I know it will be somewhere on the screen. Um, you can find us all on social media, Africa GBI or Africa GBI Gala. Or you can find us on Facebook. It's the same thing, Africa GBI. We have branding everywhere. Our next events, just sign up. Just sign up for, um, on our email list or just send us an email at info at africagbi.org. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. It was Trey Thank Massa you. here in Sunday Guests. I was your host, Ben Jeju. I was yes. very, very happy yes. to host this uh, uh, platform today. And uh, uh, thank you for our viewers from everywhere in the world. And then I give you uh, a shout out to uh, the next uh, yeah. coming uh, show, right? Yes, of course. And then hopefully we will come you, Most have you here next time, right? Awesome, yeah. All right. Thank you. And uh, you have a wonderful weekend. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you. All right.